Yo yo yo, what is going on guys? It is your man, the one, the only, Bad Place, right back at you with another video of the Wolf Among Us series. So, on the last episode, we completed the episode 1 Faith. So, let's start with episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors. You know, enough of my yapping, let's go through this game. And guys, yeah, so I've changed from playing uh, from mouse and keyboard to the controller. So, I wanted to try out control how it works. So, yeah, let's do it. Smoke and mirrors. Do something, Big B, before he completely tears up the place. Whoa, 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 hey, hey! You've got something on your face. Fuck are you talking about, you stupid You're not as bad as everyone says you are. Please, Big B. Promise me you won't tell Beast you saw me. I promise. Thank you. For trusting me. Have you seen my wife? Have you seen Beauty? Come with me. No. Don't interrupt me, Miss Snow! You asked me a question. Don't change the subject. You are to blame for this unpleasantness, Miss Snow. No, I'm D. He's dumb. He said if word of this ever got back to him, if he ever thought you knew, or Miss White, he'd come back and kill my boy. I'm looking for the woodsman. Well, he's not here. Ollie, you're out of paper towels and the... They're gonna string me up, baby. Like you said, it looks fucking bad. It looks really bad, but I didn't do it. All right, I got a hundred bucks for the first bloke that could tell me something about a girl named... Fuck, man! This fucking lab dog. Sniffing around this part of the rich fucks and the woman's need to stick to her. That right, Big B. Now things are worse off than they've ever been. Well, that's not true. Right. We've had it worse, but not by much. Alright, so that's a recap of what we're supposed to see. Let's go, let's go on the game itself. Really brings me back a lot of old memories playing this game. Mm. Still love it. Oh, this was the fucked up part, man. Mr. Wolf. Damn. That's fucked up, man. You're making this more difficult than it has to be. If you just cooperate and answer the questions, you can go home. Maybe get some sleep. How are you feeling? I know it's been a long night for you. You look like you could mm, use some rest. I need to find a killer. I'll be better when I find who did this, which I can't do while sitting in here. We all want the same thing here, Big B. Look, I know what you must be going through. Really, I do. But I could use your cooperation. Hmm, I think I'm gonna take a smoke. I'm just gonna take a smoke. That's very helpful. Thank you. Are you okay? What the okay. fuck? You All of a sudden, fam. So Detective Brannigan? I'm Detective Brannigan. Uh, yeah. I know. I just said that. Is there something? Do you hear that? <gasps> Please. Please. Yeah. I'm sorry. Just make it stop, please. Damn. 
them. Okay. Everyone just got popped. We have to go now. Wait. Uh, what did you do? What did you do to her? She'll be fine. It's just a memory wipe spell. Very expensive, but it works. The whole station will forget the last 24 hours and everything they saw at the woodlands. Damn. Well, hurry up. So only humans can do that, but it doesn't affect fables. Hmm. Something you don't see every day from there. You know what? Take the picture, Big B. Just in case. Awkward silence again, the usual. <clears throat> This doesn't change anything. This doesn't change anything. Fine. We, um, we found Tweedledee chained up to a post. That was your doing, correct? Yeah. Well, I don't know why you detained him. Dee was at the trip trap when Snow was left at the woodlands, so he couldn't possibly be involved in this mayhem. Bluebeard's currently interrogating him. He has a brother. There's two of them, D and Dumb. Yep. They've been snooping around every crime scene I've looked at. That doesn't mean they're necessarily involved in the murders. They could be, though. They could be. Fucking hell. I know what you're thinking, Big B. It's been one full night and a slice of morning, and I already miss her too. You know, I never get more homesick than when one of us dies. Now, for it to be snow, I've never been good with these sorts of things. I just can't believe this is really It's hard. Alright, this yeah. gives us sympathy. It's hard. Can't be all nice to him. You know, can't be all bad to him. Yeah. Used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Did she uh, give any indication to what she was thinking when you saw her last? I mean, mm. I don't know why, but I'd like to know that she was. I guess fine, I suppose. She wanted to change things. She could come off as callous sometimes, but she wasn't really. She said that she wanted to change things. Make it easier for Fables to get help when they need it. I don't know what else to say, Bigby. We have to have to put an end to this. How are we gonna do this without we can't, can't find no killers, man? If we don't unearth our culprit and soon. There will likely be another on our doorstep tonight. I'll get it done. Please, Big B. For Miss White. I got it. Oh. Big B's pissed, man. Definitely pissed. No fucks about a car again, huh? That's not a very good answer, is it? Come on. Just tell me what I want to know. It will make hey, things if any of you guys know who's Bluebeard, theory. please do let me know in the oh, comment section below. I never, I just I never read really his like story out, you know. Sword. What the hell do you think you're doing? Hello, Ichabod. Sheriff. Bluebeard. I was just chatting with our new friend. You were supposed to wait for us to get back. I told you, if you want to be involved, you will do things my way. No violence! Whatever you say, Ichabod. Hello, Big B. I want mm. answers, D. Oh, goody. I thought you wanted questions, and I was having so much trouble... Getting too cocky, I see. Though I'd settled on 
How's your head? You see what I've been dealing with? What are you going to do about this, Bigby? Hey. I think this is a joke. This is a joke, man. Snow White is dead. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. You were with me when it happened, dummy. I still have questions for you, D. Sounds like a personal problem. This is ridiculous. Mm. Let him work. He's got more experience. Why were you at these Faith's? Kinds of things. You know I saw you at Faith's apartment. What were you doing there? Girls got air conditioning. You can't imagine what it's like living no, in fuck a little you, man. shit stop hole with me, no man. air. All right, D. Let's get to know each other. Oh, I will still hit you, man. I will still hit you, man. I know you would. Let me show you this. Fuck, Big B. Don't make me look at that. Just put that away. Please. Snow was murdered. Was murdered. She was important to me. If you know who did this, you have to tell me. I don't know what to tell you. You're barking up the wrong tree. I don't know who did it. Oh. You don't lie, man. Just tell me what you were doing at Faith's apartment. Look, Bigby, we're not on opposite sides here. My brother and I are trying to get to the bottom of things. Same as you. Your brother. Oh. Where was he last night? I can't say. He could have been anywhere. Oh, Take man. your best guess. He didn't do it, if that's what you're thinking. Then where is he? No, I'm not sending you after my brother. Look, I answered your question. Can I get my stuff back now? What did you find on him? Oh, uh, nothing of consequence, really. I see. Anyone can see this isn't working. Let me pick this up. Smoky shit. I'm saving that. I'll burn D, really... man. Oh, what's the point of this? Fuck this guy, man. Uh, uh, oh, better, man. Stop, you fucker! <gasps> so, this is how it's gonna be. Oh, yes, what it are you is, doing? Man. Getting answers. I told you to keep yourself under control. Uh, let me handle this. Oh, Where's your brother, it? D? I don't know, okay? I haven't seen him since I left to go find Faith's... Since oh. we ran into you. But he didn't kill anybody. So you leave him alone. You don't call So the you wanted to find Faith's what? You were looking for Faith. For her fucking apartment. That's no secret. You saw me there. No, there's more to it. You said you were trying to find something. All right, D. Since you never answered my first question, what did you want from Faith? I'm not telling you shit. Okay. You ain't telling me shit. This is All right. You just carry this around? It ain't illegal, is it? Huh. Fuck you, Ben. What the fuck? Big B, you better you fucking shit. talk, man. What the hell, Big B? You better I told fucking you talk. I didn't want violence, and what do you do? Oh, we man. We all lose our jobs. This is bad, Big B. Look what you've done. It has to be Doing done. What has to be done. The only thing you have to do is what I tell you to do. Do I need to remind you that I am your boss? You answer to me. What did you want from Faith? I didn't want shit from that little thief. More trouble than she's worth. I could say the same about you. Oh yeah? Untie me and see All how right, much so you trouble kill her. I am. So she stole something from you and you tried to get revenge. Is that it? You think you're so fucking slick. She didn't take anything of mine. She didn't? She stole from my boss. You think I got anything worth stealing? You're boss oh so i thought you talk talking. about your boss then come on d 
It's clear you're just following orders. So who's calling the shots? No! I'm fucking done! Oh. Fucking done. You always carry this much cash. <laughs> I don't like banks. So what? Let me pocket the money then. I don't give a fuck. I ain't no nice guy, man. Tax on uncooperative troublemakers. What the fuck kind of a shakedown is this? <laughs> You'll need to account for that. You can't just... There are procedures to be followed. We'll talk about it later. Last chance, Steve. Who are you working for? Fuck you! You're a piece of shit, Bigby! I'm gonna Beauty be a piece of shit to you all day, man. You're just a sick beauty. You're full of shit. Oh, we're good friends. That's enough. I will not tolerate this savagery. You think someone is trying to kill Snow? Isn't it more likely someone yeah, was you trying treat to kill like you shit, by then. killing her? You want to talk about Snow? You treated her like shit your whole career. Better take the blame for your incompetence. Now you can. What's going on down here? Yeah, what the fuck? Yo. Yo, you guys saw that, man. I ain't fucking tripping, though. That is why I love this kind of shit. Right? I love to kind of fucking twist to it, yo. Anyways, I, I fucking hate you. Is it to the D or whatever, man? I fucking hate it, man. I love this uh, intro, man. This song. Oh. Brings back good memories. Episode 2, Smoke and Mirrors, guys. Let's get this shit done. <laughs> but what the fuck, man? What kind of twist Telltale Games does, you know? I fuck with that, man. I fuck with that. What the hell was going on down there, Bigby? Abusing a prisoner like that. Oh, you did. I thought you were dead, Snow. If that makes it okay? <laughs> Oops. So sorry about the sneeze, guys. Excuse me, so sorry. <laughs> I hope it was worth your time. Come on, Snow. Bigby's just worried, yo. You really scared. scared us. If we'd just known you weren't actually dead. I was working on this case. After our conversation in the taxi last night, I got a call from Toad. He said his son found a body. We thought it was Faith at the time. Getting her back here wasn't easy. But hopefully we'll find something on her to help mm. us track down the killer. Or, took care of it. at least to figure out who she is. I'm glad you took care of things. Thanks. You gotta be a bad and good side, I know. But I ain't no simp. <laughs> Ooh, that's like snow, yo. What is it? I'm glad that you're alive. I'm glad you're not dead. Me too. I just want to get to the bottom of this. I just feel like... What is it? I just... I feel responsible in a way. She looked just like me. And maybe that's why she was killed. It's not your fault. Snow, it's not your fault. But she looked just like me. That can't be a coincidence. We just have to find out who did this. Definitely. And why she was glamoured to look like me. I mean, that's what it is, right? So, what's our next move? Mm. We keep we just working. keep doing what we've been doing. We do our jobs. And I'm supposed to do what? Sit around the business office twiddling my thumbs? Waiting for the big bad wolf to solve all my problems? Because not what I meant, that's man. what my job is right now. That's not what I meant. Well then what did you mean? I told you, I'm tired of sitting around. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once I'm and... not yours to lose. I'm sorry. 
I know it's dangerous, but I'm not helpless. I can take care of myself. I've been doing it for centuries. TJ is waiting inside. He was so freaked out last night, he wouldn't tell us much. Even now, he just stops talking altogether after a certain point. He's pretty shaken up though, so try not to be too, you know. Myself? Myself. Right. Let's see what we can do. Try to talk TJ out of it, see what he says. Kind of worried though about the kid. Seeing you so much, seeing you, like being so young, seeing that kind of shit is really scarred for TJ's life. TJ's you know? over there. I don't know if you want to talk to him first or after, but let me know when you're ready to see the body. I, I want to be there. All right. Buffkin, do you have a second? Of course, Miss Snow. All right, let's let's talk to him first. Oh, that's enough. Amira, finish! Cancel! What the hell are you doing? Don't even get started with me, Sheriff! What's going on? I saw what you did down there. Is that how you treat your prisoners? I'd be lying if I said I didn't want to give Tweedledee a good smack after what he put me through. But what you did to him was way over the bloody line. Well? You scared the shit out of me, little boy. He saw everything! Okay, Mr. Toad. No. Well, I why were you spying? An explanation. And what did you expect to see? I thought maybe I'd catch you on the shitter. But I saw something worse, didn't I? That's enough. Mr. Toad, I deeply regret the distress this has caused you and your son. But right now, we need to carry on with the investigation. I'll be happy to speak with you about your concerns later, but you must understand how urgent this is. We need to talk to TJ. This ain't over, Big B. Oh, this guy's talking trash, bruh. Don't talk too much, y'all. <laughs> TJ. It's all right. Are you ready to talk to Mr. Wolf? Guess I gotta be nice. Watch He's a kid. yourself, Big B. You do anything to hurt me, boy. Jeez, okay. man. Me ask him. You Are okay? You okay. Go ahead, TJ. I go swimming at night sometimes. In the river. I wasn't doing anything bad. I promise. Of course you weren't. We know you're in trouble. You are in kid, trouble, TJ. man. You're not in trouble. Just tell me what happened. I was there, under the big blocks, and I heard noisy feet. And when I hear that, I'm supposed to go underwater and stay real still and quiet. That's right, son. Then I saw... I... I saw the lady! <laughs> it's okay, son. Try to comfort him. Careful, uh, Bigby. Still worried. I wasn't. I know. The lady fell in, but but she didn't have her head on. That's messed thought, up, man. I thought she was gonna pull me down too, <laughs> cause cause she had rocks on her feet and she kept falling down in the dark parts. <laughs> That's messed up, man. Cinder blocks tied to her ankles. Is there more, TJ? Is it true? You know when people are lying? I heard you could do that. That's why you're the sheriff. It's magic. Yeah, it's my special power. I always know when people aren't telling me the truth. Is there something else you want to say? Please, don't be mad. What is it, TJ? I... I didn't stay under the water. What? I know I'm supposed to, but I was scared, and, and I went to the top again. I couldn't help it! I gave you very specific rules. You have to stay quiet and out of sight or bad things can happen. You're I've not in trouble, you. man. You're not in trouble. You're not in trouble. 
Look, at least not. Not this time, Toad. So you didn't stay underwater? I don't know if anyone saw me, but, but someone said, stop laughing. And then I was scared, and I went under for as long as I could. Wait, you heard someone? Yes. Why didn't you tell us before? I, I didn't go. want to be in trouble. Okay, TJ. That's enough, friend. I'm sorry. After I came up again, there was no one there. And I ran home, that's all. I promise. I want to go home. You can okay. go. You can go. <laughs> Stock thing. I don't Thank know. You, TJ. Telltale was okay, trying to... Stop. Wait, alright, let me see. Good job, TJ. You did a good job, kid. Come on, then. You know that stalking shirt that he was wearing? I feel like... I don't know, was, it, was uh, Telltale trying to hint that they were collaborating in DC soon? So it's like a swamp well thing. Uh, Easter egg there. You want to go look at the body now? You know what? Yeah, why yeah. not? Come on. Oh my goodness! I almost forgot. It's like fucking dark, man. This kind of stories is crazy. Yo, look at that. Shit's messed up, man. Bruh. Jesus. That's messed up. Damn, shit. I didn't realize. Are you okay? I've never seen her face before now. You gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Right. So, anyways, guys, I think I'll stop the video right here. We're not gonna investigate it yet. We're gonna investigate this on the next episode. And if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. I'll see you all in the next one.